These plants here are Himalayan balsam, sometimes known as policeman helmets. They're an invasive non-native species, but of interest is the way they spread their seeds. They can use mechanical disbursement. Once the seed pods become fully ripe, tensions build up in the seed coat. And at a certain point when it's mature, it splits and the seeds are thrown a meter or so with a reasonable force. What's left behind is this curled remains of the outside of the pod. This shrub is gorse, sometimes called whin or furze. It also has pods that look a bit like pea pods, but much smaller. Mechanical disbursement or ballistic dispersal is caused here by the pod sides drying out as they mature. And particularly on a hot day, they suddenly, with the tensions within, burst in a sort of twisting fashion. And that twisting fashion throws the seeds for anything up to three or four meters away from the plant. The remains of the flowers are also visible here, the, the light brown structure. The obvious benefit of the seeds being dispersed away from the parent plant is that the two don't compete with each other, so when the seeds germinate, they're growing far enough away from the parent plant not to be con um, competing for water, for light, for space, and so on. This small shrub is broom. The pea-like pods are much larger here, and the twisting of the pod, when it's dispersed the seed by this ballistic method, is much more obvious. So the, being able to throw the seeds anything up to four metres away is very effective in dispersing the plants and for colonising areas where they can effectively take over, competing with things like the wind. There's one story from some years back where a lady was getting very tired of what she thought was children throwing gravel at the windows of her house and she came out and told them off repeatedly then she lost her temper and apparently hit one of them she then discovered of course that it was uh, a ornamental broom plant growing close to her house that was slinging the seeds against her windows mind you that didn't help her in the court case Another advantage of the seeds being thrown away from the parent plant rather than falling beneath the plant is that if seeds accumulate then that will attract more animals that will eat those seeds so it reduce the germination success. Also where you have large numbers of seeds together it's been shown that any fungi that are present will increase in numbers and that will greatly reduce again the germination success of the seeds. So by dispersing them, it reduces the predation of the seeds, it reduces the diseases killing the, the seeds before they can germinate.